Genetic mutation doesn't always make X-Men. Sometimes it causes problems like blindness. Now, thanks to gene therapy, we might be able to fix that. Hello everyone, Trace here, welcome to DNews. Some people are born with a genetic defect called choroideremia. The recessive X chromosomal genetic defect causes the gene RPE65 to stop coding for an enzyme which converts vitamin A to a substance called retinol. The retinol entangles itself with a molecule in the eye called opsin and the two wait for a photon to hit. Once it does, they send a signal to the optic nerve and voila! Sight. The mutational defect stops the coding so the vitamin A is never converted and over time light sensing cells die. Commonly, night blindness is one of the first manifested symptoms, usually in childhood, because the cells in the eye need to be healthy to see in dim light. Over the years, people often experience an inner ring of blindness which spreads to their peripheral vision until it all goes dark. The vitamin A connection is why you've likely heard carrots and spinach are good for your eyes because they contain a lot of it. 12 years ago, a new gene therapy technique began testing in dogs to combat the gene mutation that causes this blindness. It did so well that they elevated it to human testing two years ago, and then this week they claimed a success. According to the BBC, six patients were treated at Oxford, and one patient who was on the edge of blindness can now see three lines further down in an optician's chart. Another says the colors in trees and flowers are more vivid and saw stars for the first time since he was a teenager. For more on gene therapy, you can check out the DNews video I did on it a while back, but how this procedure works seems relatively simple. Doctors perform an operation to lift the back layer of the eye and insert a bit of DNA that doesn't have that mutated gene. The DNA is piggybacking on a retrovirus that's been programmed to seek out the RPE65 malfunction. The new DNA replaces the old one and sight loss is halted. Vitamin A conversion begins again. It might seem like a miracle but it's just science. There are limits though to the success of the treatment. It can't restore their sight back to normal, but it can strengthen and stabilize any cells that remain. The doctors say their next steps are to identify child patients who have choroideremia and stop them from ever losing their sight at all. Also, if gene therapy works with this rare disorder, doctors are hopeful it will also work with more common disorders like macular degeneration. It's studies and successes like this that make it hard not to just get excited by science. Do you know of any others? Share them with us down below and subscribe so if we make a D News about it, you'll know. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.